Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. What an excellent block of films. We've got a lot of really stiff competition in this year's festival from our various sessions of films. And without further ado, I think it's time to hand out some awards for our 2021 Milwaukee International Short Film Festival. Our first award of the evening, I believe, is our Pace Setter Award. Yes. Anaya? Okay. Pace Setter Award. It's beautiful. The Milwaukee Independent Film Society established the Pace Setter Award in 2008 to bestow upon persons that are dedicated to advancing filmmaking in Wisconsin. Previous honorees have included film advocates, educators, festival organizers, and producers such as Mark Metcalf, Susan Kearns, Dan Wilson, E. Kelly Fitzsimmons, Eric Levin, and Casey T. Malone. This year, we chose Portia Cobb. <laughs> Portia is an instructor in the film department at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. In this time that we are living in, educators are very important. They inspire and motivate. They open up the world to students. They are role models and influence that goes far beyond academic achievement. Portia Cobb is a video artist and producer of short film experimental documentary whose videos and installations have been exhibited nationally and internationally. Although trained as a filmmaker, she began using video because of its accessibility and immediacy in the field. Her work often investigates the politics of place and identity. She said that she is anchored by the legacy of Sarah Maldoror, who passed away on April 13, 2020. Portia has said she will forever be inspired by Maldoror's voice and attention to the archive, to memory and memorial, saying, these are ways I have spoken of my praxis making. Following her death, I am only now discovering how kindred in spirit we are through the lens of her early works, her short films, and her love of the poetic. Sadly, her work wasn't celebrated enough in her prime. Through Portia's continuing documentation of urban and rural communities in America and West Africa, she draws upon memory and history as a means of confronting forced movement and forgetting. Portia serves as director of the Community Media Project, an arts outreach program of the film, video, animation, and new genres department. Teaching video production, workshops for at-risk teens, and media literacy for high school teachers. She also curates and administers two public screening programs, Africa Beyond and the Producers Forum. Currently, she is teaching courses in ethnographic video production and radical black film. Portia has inspired many as an educator, just as Sarah Maldoror has inspired her. And we are here today to acknowledge that and celebrate her accomplishments. And we'll close this introduction with a quote by Maya Angelou that Portia uses from her website. There is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. Please welcome Portia Cobb, this year's Pace Setter Honoree. <laughs> I want to thank you all for this honor and thank you for this wonderful uh, forum for independent film and emerging filmmakers and embracing uh, this kind of creativity and expression here in Milwaukee. Thank you very much. Two thousand twenty one pace setter honoree for Chicago. Chicago. 
Now let's get to some of our other awards for this year. Okay, the first award we'd like to give out this evening in the 23rd Annual Milwaukee International Short Film Festival is in the category of Best Cinematography. And the award goes to Sheila Altimirano for Diabla. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Sheila Altimirano. Well, thank you so much. And I am happy that you like the cinematography because uh, this was a strong story and we wanted to narrate it not just beautifully, but like crude at some point. So I'm happy that you like it. Thank you so much. That is a tie for best cinematography. Uh, another award for best cinematography will go to, bear with me, Will Strathman, Colin Sitzma, Dave Kozlowski, Chase Reitman, Brian Hansen, Brent Osprung, Adam Coonan, and Dominic Rodriguez for Wildside. Thank you to Ross and the Milwaukee Short Film Festival for giving us the Best Cinematography Award for this year's uh, film festival. Uh, I'd like to especially thank Will Strathman, Colin Sitzma, Dave Kozlowski, Chase Reichman, Brent Ospring, uh, Adam Kunin and Dominic Rodriguez. Um, awesome to receive this award. Thanks guys for everything. Thank you so much to the MKE Short Film Festival for this award in cinematography. Brian Hansen and I had so much fun filming this past winter, flying FPV of him on wild ice, and we cannot wait to do it again this year. What an honor. Thank you for enjoying our sport in its most natural environment, as I do. Thanks again. One of our winners for best script in our 23rd annual Milwaukee International Short Film Festival goes to the team of Alonso Diaz Rickards, Ashley George, and Maya Korn for Diabla. Thank you so much. And I just, you know, wanted to say this was such a fun writing process and we went through so many revisions and it's been a while since we kind of finished working on this, but it's really cool that it's still uh, resonating with new audiences and that you selected it as a winner. So thank you. Yeah, best script and best cinematography is so, so cool. We haven't had any writing awards yet. I think this might be Shayla's second or third award in the process. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it was such a great, I'm, I'm so proud of the film. Amazing teamwork. I'm sure Ashley would say the same thing. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, guys. And sorry we couldn't be there in person, but got us on Zoom. All right, thank you. And our other winner for best script goes to Fabrice Brock for Burka City. Fabrice Brock for Burka City. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Omar, Omar Brook from Burka City. Uh, I would like to thank you a lot for the prize. This is Lola. My girlfriend, Hi. she doesn't have her burka, please don't tell anyone. Um, yeah, it was really important for me to be part of this movie. I think deeply that men and women, we, we are all the same. So, down with the patriarchy, and I hope you see a uh, lot of great movies. And uh, bye, from Greece. <laughs> all right, our next award is for Artistic Achievement. And this award is presented to Jeanette Buck and Ronnie Day Crow. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. Jeanette Buck and Ronnie Day Crow for Quiet On Set. Hello, I'm Jeanette Buck, the director of Quiet On Set. Thank you for recognizing all the contributions of all the artists that were involved in the production of our film by awarding us the Artistic Achievement Award. We're really proud of our film and really thankful and thrilled to be screening at the Milwaukee Film Festival. Thank you. Enjoy the film. Next award is for Best Ensemble. And the 23rd Annual Milwaukee International Short Film Fest Award for Best Ensemble goes to 
Catherine Bourne Taylor and Mary Tilden for Cool for Five Seconds. Wow. Thank you. What an honor. Mary was a wonderful ensemble mate. And um, <laughs> acting with her was uh, one of the highlights of my life because she's so generous and giving. Um, and we shot this with only one camera. So when one person is having a moment to shine, the other is literally not seen and their only job is to be giving and to be a present partner. And Mary absolutely was that. And um, Danny also was just so great at cultivating um, our ensemble between the two of us and asking hard questions and talking to us as actors. And so, um, yeah, thank you. It's an honor. Yeah, thanks. I feel like we're a true team and um, <laughs> I feel really honored as well to be a part of this group. Yeah. And this is like one of the things I'm most proud of in my artistic career so far. Um, so it's really cool to be acknowledged in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, th I think this award is really meaningful because, um, you know, acknowledging our ensemble is acknowledging our, you know, spirit as a group and the kind of energy of our film um, and the way it makes people feel, I think, in a more um, personal way than, um, uh, you know, it, it feels very personal. It feels very uh, much a testament to our working relationships and what you and how those working relationships translate to the energy you see on screen. So uh, it, it means a lot to, to me. Thank you so much. All right, we have another tie in the category of best actor. One of our winners is Ben Fritz for The Child. Ben Fritz for The Child. One of our best actor winners. Ben Fritz is with us. Thank you. Congratulations. Wow. Would you like to say a few words? Uh, yeah, thank you so much. It was, uh, I actually I wrote the film myself too. So um, it's uh, just a really heartfelt fil film that I got to perform with this really talented seven year old. And I hope you uh, got a chance to watch it. And if you haven't, try to hunt it out and see it. It's a great message. Thank you. Love you all. Ben Fritz. All right. Our other winner for best actor goes to Kimmy Gatewood for Naval Gazers. <laughs> Naval Gazers, Kimmy Gatewood. All right. That's awesome. Um, thank you, everyone. This is so exciting. I wish we could be all be drinking champagne together. Uh, uh, but in the meantime, just take this uh, mag, uh, the soup, this this coffee cup. I cheers to you and thank you so much. It's quite an honor, and uh, I'm so excited. The and thanks to the cast and the crew, and of course to my wonderful, amazing husband. All right. Now the 23rd annual Milwaukee International Short Film Festival Award for Best Director is presented to. Linda Reese for Lancaster Park. Linda Reese. Thank everybody very much for, for uh, Best Director Award because that means a lot to me. That's where I'm trying to work towards getting, you know, paying director work. <laughs> and so those kind of, that recognition is, and validation is really, um, is really special, so thank you. Okay, the award for honorable mention, and this is a tie as well, goes to Linda Reese for Lancaster Park. I'm, I am so honored to ha get both awards, um, and I'm dying to see uh, my, my partner film with the honorary mention, um, to see that film. Um, but I thank everybody very much. And the other honorable mention goes to Kimmy Gatewood for Naval Gazers. Kimmy Gatewood, <laughs> Naval Gazers. All right. And the award 
for Best Wisconsin Film in the 23rd Annual Milwaukee Short Film Festival goes to Reanimation of the Imagination, directed by Tommy Sims. Um, I'd like to thank my team uh, who helped me bring this Toonie Terror to life, uh, Jamie Hazelwood, Joe Ludwig, and Bull Rath, and uh, Sam Ludwig. Without you guys, this uh, passion project couldn't become a reality, and it was a blast working on, and uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Milwaukee uh, Sh Short Film Fest. Thank you. <laughs> This is our final award of the evening, is that correct? All right, we'll be doing our final award for the film festival and we'll have Voices Heard Awards right after this. This award is for best film. And the award for best film goes to Pippo and Blind Love by Hugo Legorerich. Legorerich, G-O-U-R-R-I-E-R-E-C. Your guess is as good as mine. Congratulations, Hugo. I'm just going to guess that was an international submission and Hugo is not here. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the awards for the Voices Heard segment. This first award is for Best Cinematography and it goes to An Vo for Ephemeral. Um. Uh, hi everyone, thank you so much for the award. Um, uh, it was experience filming uh, this short film um, and um, it, it means a lot to me. I never won any uh, cinematography award before. So, um, and, you know, thanks to this film and the festival, I really appreciate you guys um, um, enjoying the film. So I hope everybody has having a great time and uh, uh, looking forward to work uh, next year with uh, the festival. Next, we have the award for best script. And this award is presented to Ricardo Tenorio for Pawn Turned King. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, well, I guess I would like to thank my cast and crew. I couldn't have done it without them. I'm really proud of them and my um, improved directing skills. Uh, I thank everyone at home for watching it, and I hope you enjoyed the picture. And um, I love mo making movies, and maybe, hopefully I'll be here next year. Okay, the next award that we have for the Voices Heard segment is a tie. The first award for Best Ensemble goes to Donovan Hemphill, Bella Dengner, Joseph Oliver, Daniel Persino, Hope Risterer, Spencer Tate, and Catherine Udell for Mutism. I just want to thank uh, my 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 cast here. There's a lot of wonderful uh, filmmakers in Milwaukee, and uh, it's great that this film is recognized because it's a film about uh, anxiety. <clears throat> and obviously, I'm really anxious right now. So it's really cool that this film that uh, got uh, you know recognized for anxiety is uh, a thing. So yeah, thank you all. <laughs> I can also relate. <laughs> All right. And then the other award for Best Ensemble goes to Tomb Chanda, Emily Brent, Ken Gale, Feng Li, Nero Karloff, Bijong, Gojanjong, Anthony Riley, Moises Alcantara, Carlos Orozco, Karishma Zhong and Justin Yang for The Cure. Uh, 
Um, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching for everybody at home and internationally. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to my wife. She's the backbone. She's been supporting me. Uh, you see me, right? And she's here too. Uh, and then I want to thank uh, my cast and crew, uh, TST, for our life. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so the next award that we'll be presenting for the Voice is Heard segment is for Best Actor, and it is also a tie. The first one goes to Joseph Hansen for Pawn Turn King. Um, I guess this mic stand for being really tall. Um, uh, I would like to thank uh, Rick, first of all, for uh, writing the film and for letting me be a teenager again. Um, and uh, I would like to thank my family and friends back at home and who may be watching from around the country. All right, the second award for best actor goes to Tomb Chanda for The Cure. Hi, uh, I'm back again. <laughs> um, just wanna say thank you again. Uh, thanks everybody for making this happen. Um, I started off as a stuntman and uh, I wanted to show my face so I became an actor. And then after that, I fell in love with uh, filmmaking. So here I am. And thank you. Thank you, Ross, everybody. Thank you. All right. I uh, see something common going on here. We have one more time. Uh, several, more ties. several more ties are coming so yeah there's a theme here um for honorable mention we have another tie and it goes to anvo for ephemeral And the second award for honorable mention goes to Lysandra Scott and Colin Sisma for an essential voice, Eric Vaughn. All right. I would like to thank everybody who interviewed for the film, my cast and I'm sorry, my crew. Thank. Um, I would like to thank um, Faith Colis for letting us do the film. Um, Eric Baum was a really special person and an essential voice in this community. And I was very honored to do the film. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, one more thing. Um, and I would like to thank Colin too, because he couldn't be here. Of course, he um, he's in another state doing um, another film, so. He's a really great cinematographer. Another tie. So the next category for the Voices Heard segment will be in recognition of Best Director. The first one goes to Damar Walker for The Beckoning. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, wow. Um, 
everyone, this is my first film that I've ever directed. So. <laughs> So this is like, I'm really speechless right now. I had a blast doing this film. Um, I had the opportunity to work with this amazing woman right here, Destiny Fletcher. Um, she just was like the cherry on top of the cupcake. With it all, um, I want to thank everyone that was involved with it. Uh, shout out to, to Corey Fells, Nyla Johnson, all of my folks that helped with the film, Don Radney. Um, the amazing classic, um, and Ted Piper, and of course, my cinematographer, uh, Derek Schmidt. Uh, thank you once again, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So our second recipient for the Best Director Award goes to Marquise Mays for Blind Spot. <laughs> Hello, y'all. What's up? What's up? Um, I made this film in two days in honor of archiving the history and the stories of my grandmother, who is legally blind. Um, it started off as just like a research project to archive who she is and her history so that my great grandkids can know who their lineage is and their legacy is. And then it turned into a short film that has now won an award. So I'm grateful not only for lineage, for black women, I'm grateful for Milwaukee, I'm grateful for Mississippi, I'm grateful for my life and my people. Thank y'all for having me. That's what I'm talking about. Last but not least, the award for the Milwaukee International Short Film Festival, Voices Heard, Best Film, goes to The Beckoning, directed by Samar Walker. Yes, you won. Yes, best film. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god right um <laughs> wow uh so i was experiencing a lot during the pandemic um just the isolation um not being around my family and um just thinking about all of what was happening specifically with my people during this time and um i connected with destiny we workshopped this film in like a couple of months. We shot it in a day. Um, and we just had these moments where we just wanted to connect with each other about what it meant for us to be who we are during this time. And um, I'm just really thankful and blessed that I was able to actually do something like this. This is truly an honor. Um, I, wanna I wanna make sure I share this opportunity with Destiny um, just because, um, like I said, she was the cherry on the cupcake for me uh, during this film. And um, I just want her to take a, take a moment just to, um, to just speak about her experience and share this, this moment with me. So go ahead, Destiny. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> um, I'm grateful. Um, obviously trying to get, not to get emotional up here. Um, but to Damar, thank you like for acknowledging what it means to be in the black body, what it means to be um, in this space, in America, in the world itself. Um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share um, your words, your legacy, your light. Um, I, I, there's, there's nothing I can say. Like I'm completely speechless. Like I, I'm, I'm just grateful to be here. Um, I'm grateful to work with such an amazing, just an amazing person. 
Um, just thank you to everybody and thank you for, just thank you. Black is a blessing, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All I can say, all I can say for those at home, mama, I made it. Mama, I made it. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, that is our last award of the evening. That officially closes the 23rd annual Milwaukee International Short Film Festival. I, I can't thank everyone enough for attending because without viewers, these Voices do not get heard, and these movies do not get seen. So you viewers at home and in person, you are important. The filmmakers for uh, making these films and sharing them with us, whether it's your 25th film or your first film, there is value in all of them. So thank you for making them. Thank you for submitting them. Thank you to our sponsors for making this festival possible. And unless there is anything else we need to cover. Thank you, Ross Bigley. <laughs> Do you want to say anything? Ross is shy. Oh. Bill Stormbach, who's also been working on this festival for a number of years, and Glenn Hobble for President of the Nation. Now have some drinks. That's all, folks. We will see you at the 24th next year. Yeah, the 24th. Year.